Good day, everyone. Welcome to HyperlogicFX.com. This is a part three of our tutorial videos on using the new Rex. We first would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this and watch this in its entirety. We also hope, please, that you watched video one on multi bets, video two on dual fields which is two fields and now we're going to go into how to use this with one field and using the target calculator which will literally guarantee you based on a target that you set per spin you will turn every spin into a win when you have a win so this is a win-win situation and of course this can make you a lot of money um over a period of time of course and even during the course of the day but you want to stay under the radar so we're going to jump into one thing that we didn't show you in the previous two videos which is you know using the target cal target calculator but also using the six lines and how that can actually play out for you okay so without further ado let's get going Okay, everyone. So in uh, video one, we did multi bets. Video two, we did dual fields. And, and when I say multi bets or multi parameters, it means um, I'm going to reset this here. Um, it means all of, you know, multi fields. And then we had the dozens or, or odds and evens or dozens and columns. These are just two fields or two parameters. In this case, we're going to do the target calculator being used with this and again another very powerful arsenal uh, tool in your arsenal so the first thing you're going to do is usually when you open this and again it's usually it's mobile friendly you can use it on your your phone tablets you can use it you know i on your pc and your, your laptop and certainly you can use this online with live casino as well as in person okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to uncheck all of these things okay now if and again <clears throat> excuse me whatever you're using and you will see the other two videos where we mentioned the fields prediction in this specific case no matter what you check off your field prediction is only going to be one your starting bet is only going to be whatever you want it to be when you're using the you know different fields but in this particular demonstration with the target calculator here's what I want you guys to do you're gonna click this to medium it's it's actually defaulted to medium but you're gonna make sure it's defaulted to Nurex special because with Nurex special I'm just gonna show you a little quick synopsis here okay let's just say you were using um, and and one thing I want to make clear before I forget if you're using even money, which is red and black, even odds, 1 to 18, in the target calculator, you're going to set the odds at 1 and payout is 4. I'm going to show you that shortly. If you're going to be using dozens, and you won't be using this, dozens and columns, because the odds are 2 to 1. If you're going to be using the 6 line, then you're only going to click on the 6 line. Okay, remove all of this but this your field prediction is going to be one if it's six line or if it's going to be dozens or dozens in columns which i suggest you do um you know you do either dozens or do columns um you can do just one through 18 19 through 36 or you can click multiple of these fields because they're all even money uh payouts okay we're going to show you that in a minute you don't need to worry about this okay so reset bets because using the NURAC special meaning you're using the target calculator let me just show you what I'm talking about here okay if you did this because these are the dozens and columns which is two to one or these are even money or the six line is five to one you're only going to use the six line by itself or you're going to use either one of these by itself or two by itself at two to one odds and these are even money right just going to put in some random numbers here and I'm going to show you something. You're not going to get bet amounts. 
Okay. See? It's just telling you it's going to be in the middle uh, column. You're not going to get bed amounts. Why? Because you're using the target calculator. Okay. If you set this to two, this is what will happen. Okay. But the target calculator only deals with one outcome. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to show you that in a second here. This is the target calculator. This will turn every single spin that you've played into a winning proposition or a winning, uh, uh, spin based on this desired target that you set. Now the calculator is never set until even though this shows two, it's just a default picture. You have to physically type in the number two or three or four or five, depending on your bankroll. Okay. And then you will see zeros appear when you hit enter. That's how you know it's set. Now I recommend you use two or even three if that's what you want to do based on your bankroll. But unless you have a huge bankroll and a big table limit, I don't recommend you going four or five. But with this, you can literally win all day long. Okay. And you, every single spin that you play, whether you win or lose, when you have a win, you're going to turn all of that into a profit. You're going to turn every one into a win with what you set here. So let's say you had a $500 bankroll and you said, I wanted a profit of $2 per spin. That doesn't take long. Okay, if you're using, let's say, two to one odds. Okay, now you notice the calculator is set because I put two in here. And let's say you did, I don't want you to write this down either. Okay, don't write these numbers down because they will change on you and you won't even know it. And you're going to be, instead of being a profit and getting out of the casino, taking a break, because we generally tell you make 10 or 12 or 15 or $20, take a break, come back. That's what you want to do. You know, and in most cases, you, you don't really want to hit in the first few spins, but it's okay if you do. If you can go 10 deep every single time and it's not going to be a lot of money, you're making 20 bucks in no time. But if you did something like this, which we tell you don't do it, okay, and you put these numbers down, you say, okay, you know what, I'm going to beat the system and I'm going to write these numbers down. Well, guess what? You asked for $2 to spend, right? Let's say you hit over here, okay, and you wrote these numbers down. So, yeah, I'm going to play that every time. The payout, by the way, the payout for two to one is always going to be six. The payout for even money, which is one to one, and I'll show you that, it's going to be four, and five to one is going to be six. Look at what happens. You see these bets, 25 and 38? Now, you had a $500 bankroll, but look at where you're at now, 448. Why are you losing? You didn't lose. You just not supposed to do this. Okay? Don't pre-set your bets. See, you're ahead by 5 and 11. Now look at your next bet. It's only 2. And let's say you hit there again. Look at your next bet. It's still only 2. Let's say you hit again. Okay? Just take a look at what your next bets are going to be, even if you lost. Look. So why throw away unnecessary money and profits? Okay? Now let's look at this so you can see how this works. Okay. Let's say you went, I got to take these numbers out for sure. Okay. Cause I, I would just clear it, but I'm just making this a little easier. Okay. Cause the spins go by fast. One, two, three, four, five. What did you ask for per spin? You asked for a profit of $2 to spin. So even though, let's take this out. Even though, you got back 48 here. You got back the 16 you bet. You got back the 10. You got back the 6. You got back the 3. You got back the 2. But you made a profit of $2 on each spin. That's what you asked for. Look. Basically. You know, 5 times 2 is 10. You should be at 510. You're at 511. Okay, fine. Now, let's, again, before we go through the other part of this. Let's say, hypothetically, you said, all right. You know what? I am going to set a bankroll of, let's say, 500. Sorry about that. And this is, again, all we'll user friendly, so you don't have to worry about it. Sorry about the uh, jumping here. Um, 1,000. Let's say you set, okay, I want uh, $3 to spend. 
and let's say you're you were betting even money odds okay so you put in one 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 yeah look at how your bets are because they're even money and you're asking for three dollars a spend now if you ask for two these bets would not be this high let's change these odds here real quick and let's say you were playing the dozens of the columns okay and you asked for to spin let's say you had these missed which is not a crisis okay and you happen to go this deep and you hit here you've got all your money back but you had one two three four five six seven eight times three is 24 you made a profit of 24 dollars, and this is probably going to be in three minutes okay but remember these are two to one odds now if it's five to one it's going to pay 12 don't ask. It's because 5 plus 1 is 6 based on a $1 bet. So if you're using a minimum of $2 bets, not this, but the invest amount is a minimum of 2, it's going to be times 2. So you don't need to figure that out. You just need to remember one thing. Payout for even money odds is 4 to 1. Payout for dozens and columns, which is 2 to 1 odds, it's 6. Payouts for 6 line which is your split street is five to one odds. The payout is 12. That's all you have to remember. Just remember that even money odds pays out four, no matter how much you bet. Uh, columns and dozens, two to one pay six, no matter how much your investment is. You could literally go like this. Okay. Let's say this was two, two, two. Cause you can always switch this up, right? I'm sorry about that. I don't know what's going on here you can always switch this up okay and say okay i want to change over to like five to one and, and play the six line afterwards i'm just saying hypothetically okay and whatever it is oh i didn't put in a bankroll um it is going to be what that payout for five it's going to be 12. okay for two it would have been six and so on but you don't want to do that because you just want to go one row at a time and you want to stick with one specific type of betting. If it's ease of even money, like, you know, payout or columns or the six line, okay, or dozens or, you know, the six line. So let's do this. Let's get into a quick demonstration. We're going to set a bankroll of 1,000 units. And after the 1,000 units, we're going to set a, I want $3 profit per spin. I'm going to set my odds at two to one. And of course, you know, the payouts for two to one is going to be six. Okay. And let me get a notepad. So I'm going to put this notepad up and then we'll actually set the time when we're ready. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is let's actually, you know what? Let, it usually takes a couple, three or four numbers before it gets populated anyway to spit out anything. I have a thousand dollar bankroll here. So let me just do that. And, um, we get three four numbers so just cut down on some time okay all right great all right so what we're going to do is we started okay so what we're going to do is going to reset the app i'm going to take this off i'm just going to use dozens and columns we'll go to the six line after and we want our prediction normally it's two right you want to be at NURAC special, so it's not going to show betting amounts because you're using the target calculator. And this is, you don't have to worry about this. Once you're using the target calculator, NURAC special, disregard this. Make sure in, in, in whatever your, your, your parameters that you're setting, I prefer using dozens and columns rather than evens and odds or one in 18, you know, because that's even money. The, your bets are going to go up a lot higher. So this prediction field, I usually click it to one. Why? Because I want the best of these two. If I don't, again, this is what's going to happen, right? It's going to give you two. I'm just putting random numbers. It's going to give you two outcomes. Okay. And you can only use one in the calculator. So what do I prefer? I prefer to use which one is a better play. Okay. So 15, 16, 19, one. Let's put it in. 15. 16 i'm going to turn every spin into a win okay even if i miss it's going to be turned into a win let's set the time and let's go okay so the time is 
1309 or 309 with a thousand dollar bankroll let's see how long it takes us to make 10 20 bucks because that's all i'm after okay okay i mean that's what you want to do right and you take a break don't sit there and let the casino say oh this guy this girl just keeps winning and we're going to slow them down okay there's your first bet it happens to be in the third column so what i'm going to do is i put in here i'm just going to put 3c Okay, third column. Okay, it tells me to bet two units. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, I had a miss. And I'm not missing because I'm going to turn every spin into a win. Now it says the second dozen. I mean the third dozen. Okay. So sometimes, believe it or not, the longer this goes, the, f the better off you are because you, you do roll off a lot of spins in a short period of time. So now it says four units, so we're going to put four units here. Just want to make 20 bucks and be done with it. Okay, 16. And, and, and to be honest with you, it, it's all fine, whatever you choose. I personally, you know, I want to miss three or four spins. Well, it says to go right back there again. Okay, so I'm hoping I can miss in the next two spins. Okay, eight units. Again, I'm actually hoping that I miss. Well, not, I guess I wasn't that lucky. I actually won. So, um, the payout here is going to be six. Sorry. Now, what did I ask for a spin? I asked for $3 profit per spin, right? I got back my eight. I got back my four. I got back my two. And I had one, two, three. Three times three is nine. I should be at a thousand and nine. I'm at a thousand and ten. Let's look at the casino. So I've made ten dollars. Let's see how you know. I just wanted to get to twenty. So we'll put the thirty in. Let's see what happens. So it says down here. It's actually saying first block. Okay, it's asking for two units. So there we go. Just want to make twenty bucks might be nothing to to some people but it adds up okay and adds up real fast okay um okay it's asking for four units and the number was 32. it's asking for the middle column all right no problem. so be it there we go. I'm 16 ahead. 35. So I get 20. It's asking for the low column. Oh, oh sorry, the third column. And go back to Reezy. Two units. There it is. 20 bucks. Let me just put it in. Okay, how many spins did I have? And let's knock out the time. Okay, some people work, you know, for 20 bucks an hour, $30 an hour. And they actually have to work and could be outside in the cold. So in four minutes, four minutes, folks, four minutes, I made 20 bucks. The time you would take to walk your bus stop or to get into your car sometimes it takes even longer than that i made four dollars i mean 20 bucks in that four minutes you know you think you would make a hundred dollars an hour if you made twenty dollars in four minutes of course you will with no kind of stress now here's the thing since i've hit there okay i'm 19 i didn't put it in yet what i want to do is i want to play the six columns now okay so reset my bets is one thing the six columns is totally different odds i have two options i can actually start it off here by putting five to one and continue moving forward or i can actually clear this okay and just do it and maybe i want a different target i want two dollars target per spin okay or i want um you know 
four dollars target per spin so actually i'm going to do that but uh, you know i recommend that you know you're starting off in the beginning just stay simple you know and 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 build up i'm going to use three dollars again as my target per spin my odds are five to one my payout is going to be 12. okay now that last number was 19 so what i'm going to do is i'm swapping over here okay so let's do that okay i'm going to put in the 19 but i'm i want to swap over i need to get rid of these things okay now i'm going to put the 19. now look at what happens now you have two options you need to pay attention to this either you can follow this by inputting a number that came off the wheel every time the first bet is going to be here 21 24 split all right um and again this is why you're using Nurac special because it's a target calculator so you disregard this this stays at one that's you know the six line and it's five to one payout you have two options either whatever spin comes down you enter it and you follow wherever this goes you know just put it into the calculator and you you know put in five to one odds it'll tell you how much to bet or you can just stick this out until it hits and then you enter the number that came in one of these that hit and it'll move again okay so i am going to do this one i am going to stick to this okay so it's saying two and i am going to stick to this let's double check 21 24. okay and i will show you what i mean by moving oh i forgot to put the time in let's put the time before we start playing here i just want to make 20 bucks okay if i could okay so i'm starting at one oh two actually we know what we're starting off with equals and we'll see what happens okay so two came in now this is what i'm talking about we're doing the other way look at what happens when you put the two in you notice this moved so your next bet would have been because we missed okay your next bet would have been two units but it would have been over here on the 9 12 split but i'm going to back that out i want to stay right where i am okay i just want to stay right where i am missed okay you would have missed over there with the 9 12 split anyway okay so now it's saying three units so i don't input any of the numbers again if you do it the other way you can input the numbers okay um missed this is actually working out pretty good four units i have to admit i'd like to miss another two times though okay great missed again uh, it'd be nice if i could miss one more time I know people are saying, why would he want to miss? Because it's easier for me to hit my target. Okay, 16. All right, no problem. And seven units. Okay. There we go. All right, so anytime from now, 29, my bets are not a lot. But any time from now, it's perfectly fine to start hitting. You know, I, even if I missed a few more times, I, I I could miss 10 times. It doesn't matter. Okay. But I could tell you right now, I'm exceeding my target. I wanted to make 20 bucks in a very short period of time. Well, I am going to do that. That I can tell you. Yep. There we go. Let's stop the clock. Let's see what time it is. We'll put it right here, okay? Make life easy. We played for two minutes. Let's see what our profit is. I've asked for three dollars or spin, by the way. Your payouts is twelve. Not because that bet is twelve, but your payout actually is twelve, coincidentally. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight spins. I got my twelve dollars back, my nine, seven, six, four. I got all every dime I laid out, I got it back. But I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spins times three. I won every spin. I made three dollars profit on every spin. Eight times three is twenty-four. I started at ten twenty. I should be at ten forty-three. Or I'm sorry, I started at I re I actually re put this thing back to a, a thousand. It should be ten twenty. Um, and the only reason this is showing that because is I put a thousand here, right? But look at this, ten twenty. And what is our bankroll? Let's take a look. Ten forty-seven. Interesting. Okay. There you go. I've made a profit of $27 in two minutes, folks. I took four minutes to make 20 here. But over here, I made 27 in two minutes. Now, even though I, I, I didn't put the correct number here, because when I started over, um, I should have put the 1,020. This still shows exactly what the situation is, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three is 24, and this is 27. I exceeded it by even three. Now, let's go further down the track here, okay? One last run. Let's do the follow the number, okay? We are at 1,047, okay? So let's put it in here. Do it right, okay? So we have 1,047. I'm going to ask, again, you could set this at 2. It doesn't matter. I'm going to set this at 3. In fact, I am willing to take that risk and set this at 4. My odds are going to be 5. Okay. Um, and had that hit here. Okay, so 20. I'm going to now follow. Uh, I'm going to follow new racks. Okay, let's put it in. So it says 2730. So my first bet is two units. Oh, let's start the clock. You can't forget the clock. Okay. And we are at 1047. Okay. There we go. So where is it telling us to go? 2730. All right. So here we go. Okay, we had a miss. So this time we're doing it different. We're not going to follow this. Just remember this 2730, right? Because I just love doing this, um, staying with that. But, you know, this time we're going to do the other way I told you. So let's see. Yep, it moved. It went to 912, okay? So your bet here now is going to be $2 on 912, okay? Okay, you had a miss. The outcome is still going to be the same. I, I don't even know, you know, you know what the profit is going to be, but I couldn't tell you. Fifteen eighteen now it says. Okay. And how much is it asking for? Four on fifteen eighteen. Okay. Thirty four. All right. So we know it's, oh, right back in uh, same spot, right? All right. So it's asking for five. All right, so we'll put the five. Twenty-five. By the way, we would have hit, right? I think it was the 2730 we was at. We would have hit. So it's asking for 2124. 7 on 2124. The outcome, like I said, is going to be the same. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Okay, 10 is going to be on 912. All right, so it's 9 on 912. Five. Okay, loving this. Now this come is coming right into your wheelhouse. Three six. Okay. 
12 into the 3, 6. Now it's coming right into your wheelhouse. Because you know you're guaranteed to make your 20 bucks, right? There you go. Let's stop the clock. Oh, look at that. Three minutes. Let's see what our profit is this time. Hmm. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Four is 28. So do the math here. Okay. We made $31 profit. In three minutes this was 27 in two minutes this was 20 in four minutes this was 38 in three minutes how could you go wrong so that's how you use this that's the power of this okay once you're using the six lines you use the target calculator and you can by the way use the new racks if you want and not use the calculator but remember something, the calculator guarantees you every single win, every single spin when you have the hit. Look, you made four in every single spin. So what did you do? You won every spin, even the ones that lost, you turned them into win. But if you're using Nurax, you could have used medium, just showing you something, look. And it's going to tell you, wait a bit, it says one. But that, that's because you set this at one, right? Let's say you set your base bet at three, okay? It's not going to do like the calculator and guarantee you a $3 profit every single spin. But as you can see, what's going to happen here is, see? Oh, by the way, uh, let me just, I'd like to take that number back out. If you see nothing here, what you do is just do one of these jobs right no bet you just free spin and put a number in okay just letting you know okay I, i'm just just putting a random number in but. so three again okay see this is very conservative the calculator would not be doing this okay still at six no that's not the calculator look three bets at six units the calculator would not do that four bets at six units okay so you're really kind of chasing here when you do hit you're going to be putting out a little bit more or sometimes less but the calculator is guaranteeing you a set profit every every spin that's what you want to do so now that you have it you understand and you see how to use that now again um you either use the six line by itself this has to be on Nurex and all of these parameters here light and medium it you could go back and forth you're going to make a profit it's not going to be a lot it, it's more time consuming let's put it that way but it's more safer so if you really want to just make a profit for the day and spend like five hours two hours an hour playing roulette yeah you're going to come out you're probably going to go back and forth up and down okay but you'll make a profit but it's time consuming so for the the new racks special which is the target calculator you either set six or you set the dozens and take this out well not not one through 18 that's different uh, dozens and columns or sixes okay i do not recommend you using these even odds and one through 18 or one through 18 in red and black or red and black and even odds you could be okay with one or two spins but if you start going down your bets are really going to fly up there okay so thanks again for taking the time now you understand exactly how to use this thing and as you can see i mean we just you keep winning every single video we put out is showing you how to use this in different ways and the outcome is still the same okay um once again you know thanks for the support and uh you know exactly what to do just follow the instructions you're going to be fine this is going to be your pivotal factor what you set your units at okay when you're not using uh the target calculator when you're using it normally when you're using the tel target calculator this does not matter and no matter what you select here 
in this case just make sure this is one okay every other time you can actually use this on a normal basis too by the way okay um, if you want to right you just and in fact you can even do this okay look you can actually do let me just put in some values here you can actually do this you can set three columns this is supposed to be three it wouldn't go beyond that you can actually make it two that it'll take the best two out of the three or even one the best one out of the three but that could end up being even money odds you're not using the calculator for this this is just raw and by the way you set it at two right so you see it tell you to go here on low and then come here play now it tells you to go to column okay so you can do all of these things you have so many tools at your disposal okay and just do what it says once again thank you so much and good luck to all of you